Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. The Christmas season is ever upon us and the big day is just around the corner. Christmas, with all of its magic, brings so many wonderful things. I always find this time of year how people change, how the season brings out the best in people, and it should hopefully set us up for those wonderful sort of traits just in human life, which we should concentrate on bringing into uh, the new year. We should often try to think of our uh, try to think of others rather than ourselves a little bit more. We should try to make time to help and make change if we can to help others and to love others. We should always try to pass on the gift. And I don't just mean a monetary gift or an expensive lavish gift under the tree. The gift of giving one's time. The gift of perhaps passing on a good gesture. But Christmas, if it's anything like each year this year, I know the one thing which I'll be looking forward to, and that's just being able to switch off and just to share an amazing time with my amazing family, the blessing in my life. Now, Christmas does something more to me than that as well. It often stirs up emotions from the past. It stirs up memories from Christmases long ago. And it really does make me evaluate my life. It makes me evaluate where I am right now. I love the Christmas season. And as everybody who knows me will know, I start it just as summer finishes and I try to get all the preparations underway. But yet somehow I'm still running around and trying to get things done right up usually until Christmas Eve to help with my brothers and just family and just trying to make it perfect. The thing I need to realize, and I tell myself this every year, and as I say, every Christmas is special. But sometimes we always have to remember that it doesn't have to be perfect for it to be special. And sometimes striving for it to be perfect can often make us miss some of the most important elements of the season. For me, Christmas really does make me evaluate things in my life in general. It really does make me evaluate the bonds I have in my family, with my mum, with my dad and how blessed I truly am, and with my nan. She's no longer with me, but she is my world and she's up above and she's always with me. Christmas has a way of re-evaluating how I've led my life uh, throughout the year which has just gone. It makes me think that have I always valued every single second of it? Or have I often tried to just strive to make it perfect? And sometimes have I missed out on different elements of the journey? I've looked back at pictures with my brothers and family members and think, actually, I don't quite remember that. But I do remember the stress and the worry of making it perfect or trying to make that event or that day or that meal stand out for everybody else. But yet I slightly missed the knack of it myself. Christmas for me evaluates things that actually life is so, so precious. And if you're not careful, it can pass you by. I get so wrapped up at times of trying to make my career perfect and trying to do everything else for everyone. But yet my own life, I seem to sort of think to myself, wow, what do I really want to do? What do I really want to do? Rather than actually knowing that I want my career to be at a certain level. I want to own a house by a certain age. I want the family by a certain age. I want to be married meet a beautiful wife, and all of that by a certain age. When actually, sometimes setting goals like that can be really detrimental for us. And I find that actually Christmas helps us remind that actually we need to concentrate on every day because it is a gift. I know a lot of people will think, well, that sounds a bit cheesy, but actually you've only just got to turn the television on in today's world. And you know just how much of a gift it is by waking up, not being in a war zone, waking up, not having to worry about food on the table, or running water, and just living in a peaceful neighbourhood. There are so many things we all take for granted, me included, I don't proclaim to be a saint at all. As I say, a lot of people will know that faith gets me through everything in this life, and my incredible parents and my dear nan. But sometimes we really do have to think that yes, Christmas is a beautiful reminder, and all of what it stands for, just how incredible this life and the blessing we all have. But sometimes we need to stretch that a little bit further and concentrate on the everyday things as well. And just how much of a blessing those things are too. Christmas helps us remind ourselves that actually it doesn't need to be perfect. You don't need to do that right now. And you don't need to have a plan which is hard and uh, really tests your well-being and sometimes makes you feel a little bit down and flat when you're not perhaps hitting those goals. If, for example, you've got something set each month for yourself or each week for yourself. I often try to think back from a conversation I had with one of my managers, actually, from my retail banking career several years ago. And yet again, around Christmas time, I was talking about the same thing. And evidently, I haven't learned from this yet either. So 2024 is going to be a year where I really try to 
not worry about the benchmark in life so much. Have goals, aspirations, dreams, absolutely, they're important. They give us the kind of the guiding, the, the kind of guide um, and assurance of, of where we're going in life. But it doesn't mean that, it doesn't mean everything if we don't do it by a certain time of when we set our hearts on something. For example, do a three-month plan, rather as opposed to the full year being all pinpointed that you're going to be in this situation by the end of it. Because with the greatest will in the world, we can plan and we can have everything sort of pinpointed exactly, but yet life and all of its wonder, sadly, in a way, we can't plan for everything. And there is turmoil thrown into life, as, as well as what we all know. Bad things do happen, that's just a part of life. Christmas reminds us that life is precious and we must treasure it and cherish every moment we have. That's why I always say to people, never ever put off from saying something you want to to your loved ones, to your mum, your dad, your nan, your granddad, aunts, uncles, friends, loved ones, whoever. Never put it off because we can plan for, oh, I'll do that next Christmas or Easter or next birthday. But you know, sadly, and I love this phrase, that none of us are promised a tomorrow. And if we're blessed with another, let's grab it with both hands and run for it. I absolutely love that. It may sound a little bit morbid, but it just keeps us in that homing life that actually, that none of all of this is promised. None of it's promised. So if we're here right now, let's enjoy it and have an amazing Christmas season. And if Christmas, just like me, is is making you reevaluate things, you're doing great. You're doing exactly exactly what's planned for you. If you're of faith, then the plan's already written. You've just got to love yourself, love others, and love him. If you're not of faith, remember that you are incredible. There's only one of you. So have faith in yourself because there's only one of you in this wonderful world. And as I always say to my brothers and family and friends, live your life like a book. Write your book how you'd wish to read it because you're incredible. And if Christmas is making you reevaluate life, slow things down. Yes, put aspirations, hopes and dreams into a plan, but don't beat yourself up if you don't meet them when you when you think you should have, because sometimes setting those benchmarks in life so high is really difficult, and that pressure is going to just make you flat and happy, and you're going to miss all the wonderful things, probably like Christmas, because you're concentrating on what's happening in the new year, you're concentrating on making things perfect. Perfection sometimes doesn't exist. Striving for it does. It's incredible, absolutely. But getting the right balance is so, so important for you, your life, and your loved ones around you. So this Christmas season, if you're evaluating it, don't take too much time over it because you're doing great. And 2024, hopefully, God willing, is going to be an amazing year for us all. Thanks very much for being here on my channel. I love helping to try to motivate people to find the goodness in people because there is goodness in all of us, no matter what my brothers say to me. Um, so just have a great time. Don't beat yourself up. And yes, the pressure of Christmas is really, really high and there's always lots to do. But remember to enjoy the journey as well because the ending is great. The ending of the journey is great. But the journey getting there is sometimes a little bit more special. God bless, take great care. And this Christmas season, I hope that you're well and healthy and your family too. And I really hope you have an amazing time. We've got a little way to go yet. And a lot can happen. I know that. So take great care and enjoy those precious moments. And until next time, I'll be seeing you then. Bye for now.